video on how to use the M32 to complete mix labs. First thing you want to do is load up a blank scene. I'm going to go to the view button over here. This gets us into all our scenes. Make sure you're on the second tab scenes. If you got to move between scenes, it's these arrow keys. Go to scenes. Load up the practical exam scene. Challenge yourself. Load up the harder, completely goganized scene. This is a very easy desk. There's no reason not to. Hit the go button. This knob corresponds to go. That loads it. It says, yo, you sure you want to load it? So I hit the arrow key to confirm there. Bam. I'm going to have a blank scene. Totally goganized. Everything's erased. So the first thing we need to do is patch in Dante. Uh, this works in groups of eight and, and, and banks of eight. So hit the routing button. And often if you were to load a default scene, you'd actually see the local analog inputs, one through eight assigned inputs, one through eight, and you'd see nine through 16 going to nine through 16. But the goganized scene, we've messed you all up and we've made it AES 50. What you want, because you're doing a mix lab, is to get Dante to work. So select card one through eight for inputs one through eight, select card nine through 16 for inputs nine through 16, and so on and so forth. We've now routed 32 channels of Dante to the console. But it's double secret goganized sabotage. We still need to route individual inputs. So, no, if I select an input to the console, this and I hit home key, this shows me everything having to do with the console input. And I can move between the tabs using the arrow keys, that's pretty easy. Or I can use the super slick M32 view buttons, which move through the different sections, the different tabs, by uh, just hitting the view button. So this is all kind of a configuration and inputs and preamps, gate, dynamics, EQ, bus sends, etc. So those are really useful buttons. We're gonna go to the config page, which is the second tab. And I'm gonna make sure I've got channel one selected. You can see the one right there. And I'm going to select card input one for channel one. That is just routed Dante one to channel one. And I'm gonna move down the list. Do number two is going to be card two. So I'm selecting using this rotating knob and I'm pressing the button. Three is going to be three. Four is going to be four and all the way through 32 and I'll set it all up. Cool. So we should have some inputs working. In fact, if I play, play Pro Tools, I can see meters moving. You can mess with gain and polarity if you want. If you would, high pass filter is also there. Um, well, let's send these to the stereo bus. First, we've got to unmute them because it's a goganized scene. Let's send each one to the stereo bus because it's been goganized. All good. And I'm gonna go down over here. I'm gonna raise the stereo bus up to Unity. I'm gonna make sure it's unmuted. And the final thing is, is get it to speakers. So the M32 is a dedicated monitor section. It's very simple to use. Here's your monitor pot. For your mix labs, you're gonna be using your monitor pot. For a live show, you wouldn't be using this but a uh, mix and we do need to configure it's in, what happens to this monitor pot when you solo something on the channel it will go to the monitor pot but when you don't solo what does the console listen to what does it send to the monitor pot so press the view, view button and i've goganized you move it down to left right afl all right left right afl will listen to the stereo bus postmaster fader when it's selected. The last thing to do is to make sure you're plugging in a pair of speakers. And it's really simple on this desk. You just gotta plug those speakers into left and right monitor outputs here. You can see I'm only using one for this video. Um, you could go out and use other outputs if you wanted, perhaps 15 and 16, which are the default left and right outputs. But for monitoring, to use that pot, go out of here. And at this point, it should be pretty simple. I should be able to just raise that monitor pot up and uh, Pro Tools to stop moving. So I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna bring, I got master up and I got sound. Really simple. Cool, excellent.